What's going on today guys, Massive Panic here, and in the past week or so, a lot of people have been panicking about some news regarding the Ableton Push 3. There have been a lot of posts like this floating around Reddit as well as forums. Intel discontinued the Nook product line, killing the standalone Push 3. Hey, I saw last week that Intel discontinued the Nook, which is the internal PC that is inside the Ableton Push 3. Did anyone solve any information from Ableton on this? Now, grammar aside there, they may have a point. Let's look into it. For everyone in the audience who is slow, the title of the video is going to be that Ableton Push 3 is in trouble or being discontinued, whatever I decide to go with. Now notice, I put it in quotation marks. I did that for a specific reason here. Whenever I quote somebody or whenever anybody quotes somebody saying something, that doesn't mean that they are the person saying it. I am responding to the people that are saying that and believe me, there are people saying that. Now I have to say this because anytime I use quotations in a title, there's always a small segment of people who don't understand it and rage at titles like this. This is for you. So today we're gonna try to figure out, is this gonna kill the push three? Cue the detective music. Fuck it. And the film noir background as well too. Change the background, Steven. It was a rainy night. I had heard some news about the Push 3. I had to investigate it. <laughs> Is that believable? You buying that, guys? First, we need to talk about what the Intel Nook line is. I'm gonna try my best to make this video entertaining, but this is a real challenge here. We're gonna be talking about processors today. We're gonna be talking about processors and hardware. Wake up, wake up. I know, you're already falling asleep there. A little over 10 years ago, Intel introduced the next unit of computing, often used to reference a mini PC, but they can be used for several things, such as the Ableton Push 3. They can be sold as small form factor computers or bare bone computer kits. The advantages of Nooks are that they are energy saving as well as delivering high performance. Making use of Intel Core processors, allowing you to build the system you want, choosing your own storage and operating system. Although Nook processors are hard soldered to the main board and thus aren't intended to be installed, uninstalled, nor swapped out by the end user. Now, how does this relate to the Push 3? Now, for those of you who just woke up out of your coma, welcome back, by the way. The Ableton Push 3 not only works as a controller, but also as a standalone device, allowing you to control Ableton without the need to connect to a computer. The Ableton Push 3 obviously makes use of an Intel Nook, Thusly, it can only use a Nook. To be more specific, an Intel Compute Element CM11EBI3 with integrated 8GB RAM. Wake up, I know. I know, it's real tough out here. It's real tough out here. So Intel has been quoted as saying, we've decided to stop direct investment in the next unit of compute business and pivot our strategy to enable our ecosystem partners to continue NUC innovation and growth. This decision will not impact the remainder of Intel's client computing group or network and edge computing businesses. Furthermore, we are working with our partners and customers to ensure a smooth transition and fulfillment of all our current commitments, including ongoing support for NUC products currently in the market that has the CPU, the motherboard, and the RAM all put together, and it comes inside of one enclosed case. And the Ableton Push 3 specifically has room for this NUC, and it's 4.5 by 4.4 inches. Don't take that out of context. Intel is no longer investing in Nooks, so no new Nooks will be made. Currently, there are two more generations above the Nook that is in the Push 3, so upgrading should still theoretically be possible, but expensive. Here on servethehome.com, they are saying, instead it is going to rely on industry partners to continue innovating in the ecosystem. Companies like AS Rock are already planning their own motherboards. They sent out an email to their partners that they should enable them to help grow the ecosystem. Now, these are all vague statements. So this has led to a lot of people wondering if Ableton is not gonna be able to continue putting these boards within it. Ableton has stated before that the ability to upgrade the Push 3 manually should keep there from being a need to develop new hardware down the line, at least for quite some time. I'm definitely paraphrasing here. I would have read exactly what they said, but honestly, I couldn't find it while I I was doing research for this video and I know I read something from them saying it before. So a lot of people are wondering if that's not going to be the case and it's only been a few months since they released it. This fell apart pretty quickly here. It almost makes you wonder if they knew about this beforehand. I'm not saying they did or they didn't but the timing is very odd. Now I personally don't think this is as big of a deal as a lot of people make it out to be. It seems like Intel will be passing it off to the partners at least from the wording they use in their statement. We don't really know for sure though if this could change anything about manufacturing or design down the road though. Now there are definitely some potential roads this could lead to. I'm going to walk you through a few of them. Sadly there are no concrete answers here yet. Some people suggest that they could pivot towards a different system such as ARM but that would cause a whole host of other issues. Now it's worth keeping in mind that Ableton is most likely stocking up on these or has bought out a lot of them. We don't know for sure either way but this is probably not going to be an issue for quite some time I think. For all we know they could run out of them in a week. They could run out of them in five years. We don't know. 
They could never run out of them. This does seem like it could be a pain in the ass for Ableton as well as consumers. If they do decide to move to ARM, there's gonna be a whole bunch of new issues that crop up. Intel and ARM are vastly different architectures and they would need a whole new board. Developers will also need to make sure it can support different processors as well too. Ableton is most likely regretting not going with ARM now, especially since ARM processors have a much longer lasting battery per charge. Some of you guys may be asking, what are ARM processors? Probably not many of you. It's gonna be pretty boring. It's gonna be pretty boring. Anytime I feel like you're falling asleep, I'm gonna smack you around a bit. Cool? ARM processors are based on the reduced instruction computing set architecture, whereas Intel or AMD are based on complex instruction set computers. Obviously, they have acronyms. I would like to explain to you what the acronyms are, though, obviously. Briefly talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each here really quickly. There's <laughs> ARM processors are very affordable. Uh, they're lower power consumption. They work faster because they process a single operation at a time. Some disadvantages, they're not compatible with x86 programs like a Windows OS is. Instruction set may be inadequate for heavier workloads. Is your face hurting yet? Now, CISC processors, such as Intel, AMD, some advantages include that they can be upward compatible. It can utilize fewer instructions to complete a given task. Some disadvantages, the CPU does more work in a single instruction. Uh, they generally consume more power, and that's why Mac laptop batteries generally last longer. Anyways, there are no complete conclusions here. I see a lot of people talking about different routes this could go, some of them being uh, there's going to be third-party people making the boards and chips. Some people saying it's going to be really difficult. People saying Ableton's fucked. Some people saying it's not a big deal. I've seen a bunch of different things being said. I mean, I don't think they will in the near future. They're probably just going to pretend like it's not happening, just like they were with the issues with the updates coming out. Ableton's dropping the ball a lot right now, in my opinion. Not only with the updates or the push three, but this part right here, because people have been you know, talking about it for like at least a week or so. One thing I thought was really funny was this post on the Ableton forum made by an Ableton employee. Now keep in mind, originally this did not say this is a joke on both ends of it. Surprised no one saw the announcement from Ableton about this situation earlier today. Unfortunately, due to the recent announcement by Intel about discontinuing their NUC chips, we will no longer be able to sell push three standalone units as such, starting tomorrow at 5.40 a.m., we will stop accepting orders for these units. All customers who have pre-ordered a Push 3 standalone will instead be shipped a special edition Push 2 unit painted in a rare irate red color scheme. Each special edition Push 2 will come with four AA batteries that you can use in any device you want. We're sorry for this inconvenience and we can't wait to show you what we have in store for Push 4. It's our most magical device ever. Now, several people in the forum thought he was serious since he's an Ableton employee, which is why it's says above and below it now that this is a joke. Good shit. <laughs> I personally don't think the Ableton Push 3 is bad. It does have some issues, it's had some bugs, but the MPE feature is great. The standalone feature can be great or horrible, depending on how you look at it. Thank you for watching. If you press the like button on this video, I'll give you a sweet sandwich. It'll appear in your hand the moment you press the like button. Um, pressing the like button is a contractual obligation. You're not allowed to unpress it or press the dislike button after. Thank you. If you're interested in checking out more information about the Ableton Push 3 though, I'll link to my review to it up here. I'll see you guys next time. From people like Weaver Beats who don't do any research and talk crap about companies without any research. Incorporated.